Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing business card design. So more in-depth design videos where I create only one thing instead of a big scale project, but those are still fun. Go check out my series on that. Um, but let's get rolling and do a business card and teach you some tips if you need help with this, like how to make a business card in general. Before we start, please follow me on Instagram. That's where I post my designs and also keep up with me on there and also check out how you can become a patron below. Okay, so business card design. I'm going to get going into the design and start giving you advice and talk about it while we design. Okay, so getting started here with setting up the file in Illustrator. The standard size for a business card is three and a half width by two height inches. Um, so that can be, obviously you can do landscape or portrait, um, vertical or horizontal <laughs> for that type of shape. Um, the thing about a business card is that it's really the time to get creative. So you can do a different type of shape, a different type of size, um, but this is the standard size. So my business card is going to be horizontal orientation. Um, and then obviously when you are printing something like this, you want that color mode to be in CMYK. But for the purposes of this, I just wanna show you a digital version. Okay, so here we are. This is the business card size. This is how it will look. Um, so let's cr go ahead and create two artboards to have both sides of the business card. And that's basically my first tip is that when you're making a business card, the focus is really what is going to be on both sides. So you really do have to think about where the information that you need to put on there is going to go. And if it's going to be on both sides, what's going to be on one side, what's going to be on the other, where's all the information. So for the purposes of this business card, which is not a real business or anything, I don't have a client that I'm working with for this. I am just showing you an example. Example. So we're going to be making a design studio kind of like if I were a designer at a studio I'm gonna use my name. I'm not gonna use someone else's information I'm just gonna use my name and like put where all the information would go um, But the studio is going to be called a brand um, You know clever. I'm so clever. So it's going to be called brand studio and it's going to be a very typography based business card That kind of brings me to my second tip. I have so many tips today. I'm full of fun facts um, but basically, you have to think if you're working with a client or if you're branding yourself or whatever this is for, if you're making a business card, you do need to think about if there's going to be a logo on it, if there's going to be just typography, if there's going to be an image. Um, that's a great thing to think about when thinking about the front of the card here. So we're looking at the front of the card, what's going to be on it? Is it going to be like an image if it was a photographer? Is it going to be a logo that the brand has given you to use or is it something you designed? Um, it really depends on what you're doing and what you're working with. So what we're going to do here is brand. So this is the front of the card. We want it to just be something bold, something in your face and that's what's important the front of the card needs to show what it is bring visual interest to it and that's what's fun about business cards is that you can get really creative with it like it is a very a very fun process so what i'm going to do here is take a look at my adobe fonts and what i have and then just see if something is gonna work for this adonis is really nice this might work and Mencken is also very nice as well. So let's look at those. Okay, so here is Adonis and I think it is a little bit too thick for what I'm wanting. I'm wanting something a little bit thinner. And Mencken is actually really nice. So let's go ahead with this one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create outlines so we can just start manipulating this text around. Um, I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. Okay, so now that we've just kind of made it bigger and everything, we're going to just start changing it up a little bit. I think what I want to do is change this R and flip it around. So we're going to go up to object and transform and then reflect vertically. And now we can just kind of move it to where we want it to be and move all of these letters to where we want them to be. So I'm just direct selecting into some of these letters and moving what I need to move. So I actually really like this, but I do want to add just a bit more to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to use the pen tool. So I've just made a little line with the pen tool and I'm going to try to manipulate it to just connect it here a little bit better. Okay. 
Okay, so overall I made the bee a little bit more rounded and added this little extra piece, um, which I think looks really cool. So if that's the front attention grabbing part of the card, then the other side is going to have to have all the information. So let's find another font that is going to go along with this one that is not going to be it, um, but we're going to mix it in. Okay, so for the title again where we say that it is called Brand Studio, we're going to use that in the same font, but then the Mm, extra information I would say we're gonna use a different font so I do like the idea of just using like Helvetica new for this um, I just feel like it looks so classic and clean so brand studio is going to be the biggest thing on the back of the card and then the title and the information of the person at the studio would be a little bit less up high on the hierarchy scale so it's about their information, who they are, but it is mostly about the studio. So if this were me, we put my name first, then my title, then any information you, you would need to contact me. So I know this is definitely looking like a very serious business card, but let's add a bit more color and elements to it to create the actual card. Let's talk about color. So I am really liking something like a blue or a really light pink or orangey for this. I'm not sure why. So I used the brush tool to create some of these and put the opacity down just so you could see the letters through it, um, and I actually think that looks really good. Okay, and then on the back of the card, we're actually going to add a rectangle. So that is how that turned out, and just adding little elements to something that's very typography based is a really good way to make the business card. Um, of course, if you're relying on something like images or logo, there is a lot more that you can do there too, but I thought this was a great way to, one, talk about typography, my favorite thing, and also just show how you can make a business card really interesting with just these simple elements. So now I'm just going to put this together into a photo so we can see how it would look laid out and nicely presented as a business card. So opening up Photoshop, I'm going to make a 1080 by 1080 pixel photo. Um, just that's like social media, so it's a great way to do that. So I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with black because I love to put my design work on a black background lately. Now to create this, you can save your work on Illustrator as photos and bring it in to the Photoshop file and just show the card like that. Um, or you can just copy everything in. So I've just brought it in so we can see it as it is. So all I have to do is drag in our work and make sure that it is the right size. And what I love to do with this is create a paper-like texture to make it look like it's like a print. So selected on the layer that we're going to add the paper texture to, we go up to filter, open filter gallery, and we can add this little texturizer sandstone. And there we go, voila, it's done and it looks amazing. And then that is the final image, and as you can see, it looks so good, so happy with it, and that is how you make a business card. Okay, so that was all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, it helps my channel. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed, ring the bell so you can get notified when I upload, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. This actually looks awesome. You can't look at it. Why are you laughing? Hmm. You laughing? Yeah.